Hey, what's up guys? So, we're gonna hop on the monorail and go over to Epcot, and then we're gonna walk through Epcot and head over to the Yacht Club for some dinner. So, uh, I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. Guys, this is the Yachtsman here at the Walt Disney World, the Yachtsman Steakhouse. Uh, this is the main dining area as we walked in, kind of through the entryway there that was also where they prepare the food. Uh, as you can tell, we walked in a little noisy, a lot of ambient noise, a lot of, a lot of conversations going on. Uh, kind of surprised me to how much noise. There are three or four rooms here as we enter like the second second room and we'll go through and actually here on the right, so second, a third, if you consider that a room and the fourth room that looks out onto the pool and the deck and the other room, the main room there also looks out uh, kind of on the deck, the entryway and the pool. So, um, why don't you come uh, check out the menu with me and the food that we're about to eat. So guys, we're gonna take a look at the menu here at the Osman Steakhouse. On the left there is the soups and salads. Soups and salads ranging from $12 to $16. On the right, the appetizers ranging from $15 to $19. We did not try any of these. Uh, we went straight to the main course with, with the steaks, which you're looking at now. The steaks on the right ranging from $45 to $54. We did get the steak on the left there, that big old 32 ounce porterhouse for two. And that was 119. It comes with uh, three sides. Um, everything comes with some kind of side. It just depends on kind of what it is. There are the entrees, ranging from 31 dollars to si all the way up to 62 when you look at that uh, pound and a half main lobster. And then also the additional sides if you were looking to add another side. We were fortunate enough to get the black truffle risotto, which is no longer on the menu. Um, I don't know, call it birthday magic or something. We were able to get the black truffle risotto, which you'll see here in a little bit. Maybe doesn't hurt to ask, but it is a $26 side. Uh, well worth it. Well, well, well worth it. So, and as you'll see here in a second, this is how the meal starts with these bread options that are coming up here. And they'll bring out the garlic and the butter with those bread options as well. So, yeah, um, this is how it starts off. That's your menu. And see what else comes up to the table. So guys, that right there is the black truffle risotto, which was amazing. Oh my gosh, it was great. $26 was amazing, that's what it was, and it was worth every penny. Here's the steak and the sides that go along with the steak and the potatoes. Uh, the potatoes, which you see there, were really good. Enjoy the potatoes as well. Um, everything in this meal was good. Um, I don't know if I would say anything but the risotto was great, but everything on this meal was good. As we'll kind of look through just some solo pictures here of the sides. That is the onions, the mushrooms, and the spinach, which is in the middle there. All of those were adequate, quite good for the mill. Uh, all were eaten. Um, there's the 32 ounce steak, which is a 119 steak with all those sides and the potatoes, which you do not see here. But all those sides, everything was 119 with that. 
And here, one last but not least, is the Black Truffle Risotto again. Loved it, loved it, loved it. If I could go there just for it and knew it was on the menu, guaranteed I would book every time and go there just for the Black Truffle Risotto. And obviously, it was my birthday, and so this was the birthday gift that comes at the end of the mill. Uh, the pen doesn't come with it. That happened to be a gift from Erica. So uh, here is my first take uh, as we're going to go into that. I'm going to throw it to myself, obviously, here as we walk out of the, men the restaurant again, and you see all of this. This was my first take response as we walk out of the restaurant, and I'll leave you with this. So guys, we just ate at the Yachtsman. Uh, really good meal, maybe overrated from everything I was hearing, but a really good meal nonetheless. Uh, enjoyed it, had the 32 ounce steak split with two people. Um, ended up getting a special order of the black truffle risotto, which is no longer on their menu. Um, so fortunately, our waiter, Brandon, was awesome and was able to take care of us. Uh, like I said, this was a birthday meal, so uh, nice little birthday surprise at the end. Uh, if I can find it in my pocket here. Nice little gift from the GF. So, <laughs> say hi, Erica. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, good meal. Uh, not the best steak I've ever had. Um, everything else was good, adequate, I guess. I don't know if that's really a good thing to really be saying, is <laughs> adequate, um, but it was good. Um, I guess I, would, I guess I was expecting just to be blown away everywhere, every which way. Um, so, but it was, it was a good meal. I, I would recommend it for an experience, for a nice, quiet uh, type uh, getaway meal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was enjoyable. Uh, the steak wasn't the best I've had, but it wasn't the worst uh, by a long shot. Uh, it was enjoyable. So, like I said, 32 ounce porterhouse. Uh, dipped it in the sauce on the thing. It was pretty good. Um, comes with uh, a spinach side, a, what else? A spinach side, a mushroom side, and, a, and an onion side. All those were good. The potato side was really good. Everything was good. I mean, I not blown away for the price and everything, but it was it was good. Um, and I, I, I would give it definitely a recommendation. And on on the M scale, uh, four, three and a half M's, three and a half out of five M's. So three and a half out of five M's. Uh, give it a try if you're looking for a nice romantic dinner, uh, a celebratory dinner. And lots of noise behind me. That's actually another thing about the restaurant. I would say. Walking in, the first thing I realized, or first thing I just noticed about the whole place was that the, the noise level, and there was quite loud for a, a, a fine dining experience, like, so uh, definitely, like, really loud for a fine dining experience. So once again, guys, we went to the Yachtsman Steakhouse over at the, I guess it's the Yacht Club Resort at Walt Disney World for my birthday dinner. I do recommend it. Uh, just set your expectations a little lower than, than I did. Uh, can't say I was disappointed, just can't say I was impressed too much. So it was good, just not great. So uh, guys, uh, that's the review for that. And that's probably the, that's the end of my birthday day too. So um, check back next Monday and I will have another, another vlog up then. And until then, Hope to see you again so we can do this again. Goodbye.